What's up everybody, my name is Brian and this is Legacy Escape Box. Today we are gonna talk about four ways you can use a magnet in an escape room. First of all, So the first way you can use a magnet in an escape room is with coins. So I'll start you off with a little bit of did you know. So did you know that international coins, this entire pile, all magnetic, okay? On the other hand, this whole stack of USA coins, not magnetic. So what does that mean for you? Well, one thing you can do is make participants find a magnet, then have a stack of all these coins. They find the one that attaches to the magnet. The date, 1976, unlocks your lock. On the other hand, what you can do is put one USA coin in a stack of international coins. You can pick up all of these. The coin that remains is the key to your lock. 1976, boom. Okay, the next way you can use magnets in an escape room is to attach magnets to the back of letters. Now, these letters, you can cut them out from a magazine or anywhere. Um, I've got some oversized ones here, so what I'm going to do is attach these magnets to the back of the letters. Uh, you can then attach an extra backing so the thickness of the letters does not differ. After that, participants have to find the magnet. All they'll do uh, when they find the letters, they'll have to run the magnets over the letters and they can pick up the letters that you need. They might be able to pick up four letters and those letters are the key to the word lock. This one's really simple, and not all letters are magnetized. Some letters will be magnetized, and those letters are the ones that are needed to open the lock. So that's a good one, and that one's also really simple. Whose broad idea was the uh, throwing the letters across the room? Huh? Next, you can always use a magnet for simple retrieval of an item. If you've got some good magnets, you can always attach those to the end of a long string and use those to retrieve a key, which you might need to open a lock on a box. You might need that key to open some handcuffs to free a hostage. You might even need it to rescue a dragon. The point is, make sure that you're not always doing the same thing by just opening a box to retrieve another key. Escape rooms for home, school, and work, sometimes you need to have a cool final objective. That final objective, like we said, could be freeing a hostage. There could be an actor in the room. Uh, they may have these handcuffs on, for example. It might be something a little more lighthearted, like rescuing the stuffed animal. So make sure that you vary your ending objectives because those need to change also. Okay, the next method of using a magnet in an escape room is to use iron filings and magnetic strips. So, what you're gonna need is this Scotch magnetic tape. You can use it to cut strips, attach it to a piece of paper, which will give a message once the iron filings are on the paper. We'll take a closer look. So, I like this Scotch magnetic tape because I can roll it off, cut it into strips. When I cut that into strips, I can make any message I want. So, all I have to do is take this, take these strips to one side of the paper and then use these filings on the other side. Okay, so once I've taped my strips down, I can see on this side it looks like this. So when I flip it over, I can even put this piece of cardboard behind it. If I connect this cardboard, then no one can see from the other side what it looks like. So now I have this set of paper. I can have participants find these iron filings let them know to put the filings onto this paper and then let's see what happens here. I do want to say one thing. 
Iron filings are very messy. They can be very messy. So have to have adult supervision with any magnets and any iron filings. What I'm gonna do here is actually use another piece of paper. I'm gonna go ahead and let these filings drip off of the paper. And we can see that my little code will remain. I'm being really careful here. This is one way to use a magnet in an escape room. This is pretty amazing. This takes a lot of work and a lot of preparation, the iron filing. So only use this if you've got some spare time and you wanna have a little cleanup at the end. Okay, so that was four quick and easy ways on how you can use a magnet in an escape room. Make sure to tell me what your favorite method was. Make sure to hit like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.